I uh, haven't heard of uh, many uh, bear reports anymore. Yeah, I think uh, they moved back up to more. Yeah, it could be the same bears, but I'm not. I'm not 100% sure. But there have been uh, three black bears uh, spotted up in uh, Kenlo Croft, Ontario, which is uh, just west of uh, Beauty and uh, east of. Uh, So yeah, a couple of my, uh, I have a friend uh, who lived up in the Campbell Crop, so yeah, she might have uh, seen it. So apparently the bear has, bears have been hiding out in a uh, place, uh, in a farm. It will be kind of obvious because uh, bears uh, always look for bear berries. Uh, Fruit, salmon, nuts, and anything of, around that sort. So, so those are like usually the, the kind of like uh, foods that uh, bear, black bears uh, eat. So. Yeah, you own a farm and yeah, yeah. There's most likely uh, bears are gonna be uh, yeah near it. Uh, especially mostly black bears because grizzly bears happen happen to stay away from humans. While I've uh, explained this before, so yeah, you can uh, check out my video or Google it yourself. On the other half, yeah. I was talking to my uh, friend, uh, friends, uh, girls, two girls, yeah. They have uh, boyfriends, yeah. And I'm also friends with, I'm sort of friends with them as well. So I was talking to my friend. Uh, I have uh, mentioned uh, Sierra before. She actually is she's one of the people that I understand and the struggles I go through, so. And uh, Maddie, I've, uh, you know, I've worked with her before, so. Uh, many people know her. So. I was, anyway, I was uh, talking to uh, Maddie and uh, Sierra about it and uh, about uh, people uh, not uh, being uh, careful about uh, social distancing and uh, such. And and I did mention about like uh, my drive uh, to Pond Head the other day, and it's as a reminder, it's uh in the right direction. So. so it's south of uh, Newcastle, Ontario, which is close to Bowmanville, yeah. and, uh, and uh, Clarington uh, area of uh, Ontario. I saw uh, like uh, these uh, 
want to uh, do pull up. Pull up. It was uh, near that the uh, two railway crossings, and uh, it was uh, right between two railway crossings actually. So. That's the first railway crossing. And then before the second one, uh, uh, I even approached the second one. There was a guy out, out outside of a car, and uh, he was talking to the car in the first, the driver in the first uh, car, closer to the uh, first railway crossing. They were talking. Uh, uh, usually, uh, if it was the time uh, outside uh, the coronavirus uh, season, yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, it would be okay if you just, you know, park your car out to the side, the river side of the road, and uh, talk to somebody who also parked the car on the side of the road, and uh, you could stick your head in. Uh, Stick a, or lean your, your arm on the edge of the... But, you know, you get the point. The, the side mirror, action edge. Yeah. But, apparently, yeah. The coronavirus, uh, Stephen, so you are not supposed to do that. Get it, so. but uh, there are really it is uh, weather's getting real warm, uh, warm, but it hasn't reached 20 or over 18 degrees Celsius yet. So, there should be no, no uh, activity of uh, talking to uh, someone that. Uh, does not live with you or yeah. the, the driver and the person who got out of his car yeah looking looking at it the distance how close they were were like uh, about uh, less than a half about half of a meter so yeah so it's uh, probably not as uh, do that. Uh, even if sure you're outside, but uh, that doesn't mean uh, it lowers the chance of uh, the coronavirus that thing uh, coming around. So, if you are careful, yeah, that's fine, but yeah. Don't be like that close, like, don't lean in, don't uh, lean in uh, the person or anything, you know. And another thing uh, before I end this video, uh, oh, how much time do I have? Okay. Well, this, okay. Well, there have been uh, people uh, dropping uh, their pets, otherwise known as uh, cats and dogs, uh, and other uh, pets, maybe birds. Okay. I don't know, maybe. I know some people who have a bird. Uh, my friend Miranda has a bird. Uh, some people are like, uh, have been uh, chopping their air pets off the, to the animal shelter. Because of that, they thought, I think, uh, animals uh, 
it can be uh, contagious of the coronavirus. That is false. It's all like uh, so re researchers have uh, had, uh, said that and you cannot get the coronavirus from animals. You can only it can only spread from human to human. Yeah, only to the air and animals cannot get the coronavirus. They cannot get affected. You get affected. So so don't worry. Uh, don't worry about like you know don't go distressed of uh, sending your pet to, uh, to the animal shelter. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not uh, cat, cats and dogs uh, you should be worried about as uh, uh, also uh, this uh, distancing uh, should should be a very uh, avoided and uh, apparently people are uh, they do not do that and uh, that is becoming a problem even with the uh, weather uh, warming up. Yeah. Uh, even if uh, the weather is getting warmer, please do take, take uh, precautions. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm gonna switch this off. So, uh, you can, final, you know, you cannot get the uh, virus from pets. Pets cannot get the virus. Well, yeah. And that's it, folks. So I'll uh, see you guys uh, in the next uh, video, whatever it is. You know, it's all, we have uh, more days to come. About 80 something days, days. I calculated.